हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अमरजीत कौर प्रोफेसर ऑफ अकाउंटिंग एंड बिजनेस कम्युनिकेशन दिस इज माई प्रिवलेज टू बी हेयर विद यू एंड टॉक ऑन डाइवर्सिटी ट्रेनिंग सो दिस टॉपिक इज इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज ऑफ द ग्लोबलाइज वर्क फोर्स वी हैव अराउंड एंड आल्सो बिकॉज ऑफ यू नो एवरी कंट्री नाउ टारगेट्स टू गो ग्लोबल Uh, and uh, there are many people of different cultures living in the same city in the same company and around so socially also we see uh, diversity around us so what is diversity training uh, before that let's just understand why do companies need to conduct diversity training so you know in the previous in the past uh, lectures we talked about inclusive workforce and you know inclusive work environment doesn't develop on its own companies need to put in efforts and needs to bring in some kind of intervention to ensure the environment or the work culture is inclusive which means they they honor the diversity of um, you know of all the employees because every two people are you know every person is unique in its own right no two people are equal in many ways and uh, inclusivity requires intentional action and understanding of all the factors and actions which are needed to foster an inclusive culture so that's what inclusivity requires it demands for that and that is why the diversity training is one of the such intervention and is accepted as one of the most effective interventions uh you know to bring such inclusive environment or to bring such a at uh, you know as such a culture at any workplace so diversity training helps companies craft safe spaces and morale for members of marginalized uh communities these training construct better and more productive teams allowing companies to sustain their growth so diversity training is going to help you know organizations companies to craft safe space that everybody feels uh, you know safe secure wants to work for such companies people their morale whoever is working in that organization is high and especially of those people who come from mar- you know marginalized communities it could be uh, a community which is less in numbers it could be you know uh, specific gender the transgender they are mild because they are less in number it could be any such bifurcation a particular religion a caste you know so there could be certain parameter basis on which uh, we have the marginalized of workforce so of a particular segment which is considered as marginalized which is not uh, you know presenting uh, a bulk so these training construct uh, you know whatever is developed they they construct better and more productive teams the moment we think of you know having or conducting diversity trainings it is going to lead uh, to more productive team environment and which allows the companies to sustain because they may uh, uh, you know they may be growing but to sustain the growth it's essential Uh, that all those aspects are taken into consideration including con- having the diversity training uh, so that the teams are productive and they remain productive so that is why it is important to have the diversity training what is the meaning of diversity training a training which is carried by human resource departments to raise awareness and to educate employees about diversity issues such trainings are conducted through group exercises games role plays and presentations by expert speakers so any training program which is carried by hr department of a company or a business or an organization why because they want to raise awareness and they want to educate employees about issues pertaining to diversity right be it genders race religion be it economically weaker section or 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 people from particular continent or the country so so um, there could be uh, marginalized employees uh, you know from 
representing any of the groups I just mentioned. So, it is important that HR department carries training uh, sessions so that uh, it could raise the awareness and it could educate employees about the issues which pertains to these diverse, diverse uh, diversity issues. And th such trainings are conducted you know uh, when we say uh, how you know we should they conduct training by using group exercise games role plays and experts may come and speak and they may present. So, such trainings are conducted through these group exercises, games, role plays, presentations, etc. Purpose is to aware them and to make and to develop tools amongst the employees to deal with diverse issues, diversity issues. So, now coming to meaning of diversity training further, diversity training ensures employees are practicing ethical and healthy working habits towards their co-workers. Most diversity training programs they include topics of race, gender, sexual orientation, religion and disability etc. So, diversity training which is it does a very important thing it ensures that the employees are practicing it is not that they are theoretically reading it or, or seeing they are practicing ethical and healthy working habits towards their co-workers. So, they are in they are not uh, uh, you know practicing an in you know, unethical or unhealthy habits. They are concerned about the uh, colleagues who are just working close to them or next to them to make by ensuring that they do not make them feel awkward or alien at any point of time and especially to the people who are from the marginalized uh, community or marginalized sector right. So, most diversity training programs they would include these topics which uh, you know any particular segment may fall in it could be topic related to race, gender, sexual orientation, religion, disability etc etc. So, this is what the diversity training comprise of. Now, what are the benefits of diversity training? We could understand that it is a training program which is actually held by HR department, training department, training and learning department or learning and training department either of these names or nomenclature could be there for such department. But agenda is same, agenda is to sensitize employees towards uh, those issues which pertain to dif uh, no diversity or inclusivity, make them learn how to deal with such situation if they are existing or they come across and to ensure a healthy environment right work culture. So, what are the benefits? So, first of all it helps educate professionals. Number two make minorities free more welcome feel more welcome. Number three boost open or considerate thought process. Number four fosters healthy workplace culture. Number five increases productivity and social justice. Number six encourages cultural awareness. Number 7 provides tools for learning, number 8 enhances sensitivity, number 9 reduces cultural misunderstandings and number 10 and the last number is shows support for marginalized groups. So, let us now discuss all these points one by one. First number as I said is it helps educate professionals. So, how does it happen because we say the first benefit of diversity training is that it educates professionals which means uh, employees right the people who are working in organization they are the professional they are the employees. Uh, it will educate them that that we all are humans you know our race and gender etc. It just that it has happened that uh, we, we are born in a particular race, we are born in a particular country, we are born in this particular economic background or caste right. So, uh, we are born as gen, uh, in, uh, male, female or transgender. So, it is very important to educate professionals on these aspects. So, second benefit is that it make minorities feel more welcome. So, how does it make feel them more welcome? Because, uh, because 
uh, the minorities will feel that the organization is conscious about the about the about the particular segment it, that the company is putting in efforts to make them feel inclusive company is putting them you know putting in efforts to actually make them uh, part of the team so minorities will feel welcome because there are certain trainings which are happening to others and to them as well how should they also not feel offensive or defensive you know in any situation it is not only for the people who are uh, who are not from the minorities it is for those people as well who are from the minorities so both people from the marginalized sector and the people for uh, you know uh, uh, from the other sectors who are which are not marginalized they both are trained and they are trained to deal with each other very well so number 3 is boost open considerates uh, or thought process so it will boost you know if we carry the diversity training it boosts open or considered thought process so a uh, thought process becomes open if we conduct such training sessions and uh, thought process will become considerate to others needs others the actual uh, issues it becomes uh, you know uh, it becomes in such a way that people understand this is natural this is okay this is not in any alien con you know, situation it is okay to be transgender working with you it is okay that any female is part of your team or a male is part of your team or or person from various races or or backgrounds or person speaking different languages are part of your team it is okay you know everyone has uh, his or her strength and the weakness so so we should consider that as a team we can achieve higher productivity higher results if we uh, if we are considerate to others so that thought process gets boost so because of this training because you are you are kind of uh, you know propelled to think in such direction number 4 is it fosters healthy work uh, place culture workplace culture is you know affected by the people by the vision by the mission by the practices of or the policies even of a company right when the policy is that we train people uh, to honor diversity or to to honor inclusiveness automatically a healthy work cult place culture will uh, foster because people will learn that it is okay if we have a uh, diverse team working on the same problem right a team comprising an asian a south you know south african or european etc etc a team comprising different genders different uh, uh, educational background everybody is needed that's why they are part of the team right it fosters healthy workplace culture because people learn to appreciate those differences people learn to recognize the strength of the people beyond those diversity issues and that's how the workplace culture becomes healthy positive for everyone the fifth point was it increases productivity and social justice how come so the productivity is dependent or is the function of team work as we all know right so productively uh, productivity will certainly go up if pe- if there is a uh, you know healthy work culture within the team so if the team they they work in a cohesive environment certainly the productivity is going to go up and not only that this is going to increase the social justice as well socially it is you know our our law our rules regulation everything you know ensures that we have justice for society for all segments of society we cannot ignore marginalized people we cannot ignore which which are in minorities right so it increases productivity as well as it it increases the social justice for everyone the next benefit is it encourages uh, cultural awareness because once when we are trained what happens the trainer would generally 
begin with introducing himself uh, then asking others to introduce to and will propel them to talk about their culture the what festivity they celebrate what festival they celebrate what language do they speak what what is their you know staple diet uh, in their families in their culture in their city in their continent such things are spoken right to sensitize others we we get to talk about these issues in public in common during the training program and the moment we are doing this automatically the cultural awareness is increasing it it is happening right so that's how uh, cultural awareness goes uh, up because naturally the training program is targeting to involve everyone and to sensitize others about it's not only the minority people they talk about their their culture their food habits their drinking habits their their languages their festivals etc etc the other people which are in majority even they would speak about them even minority people would start admiring them appreciating them and would you know try to become part of uh, that culture so good companies uh, where they they understand the importance of uh, diverse training on diversity or inclusiveness they celebrate almost every festival irrespective of you know the festival it belongs to x many or x community or y community x country or y country so so good companies do have the practice to celebrate you know culture to celebrate festivals of every uh, you know from every part of the world the next benefit is it provides tools for learning so the training is not only to uh, get uh, people aware about others cultures others uh, specialties and you know other people's uh, you know peculiarities but it is also to develop or to provide certain tools that how can one deal with diversity exactly you know certain tips are given certain tools are shared this is the tool to deal with the diverse uh, diversity issue so it's a, it's a real training for the employees where they are not just developing or getting understanding of the diversity issues and training but they are also uh, you know providing tools the experts are been they, they the experts will provide tools to those uh, employees who are attending training program so that uh, uh, they they get to learn exactly how to deal with this then enhances sensitivity because we have uh, you know diversity training and uh, and we will get to know during the training program that x community or x section of the society or of the world is sensitive towards this why is sensitive about this there are certain countries they still do not want that anybody any visitor if visiting their um, you know temples etc they sh- they should not be wearing without sleeves or they should not be wearing short dresses etc for especially for female and it is true even today right i was searching last week only about because i was planning a trip somewhere in asia so that's what it happens that it enhances the moment we have such training we will uh, be able to sensitize people about others cultures others need and because uh, you know it's very interesting uh, one of the countries uh, you know uh, when we say uh, when we make a victory sign it is considered victory v is considered victory sign when we make it with the help of our hands in you know most of the part of the world but there are countries where this sign is considered to be very very bad it is, so we unless we sensitize everyone we may have an australian working in our team we may have a, a, you know an american working in our team an indian working in our team unless we apprise everyone that what and and how they are sensitive to particular issues particular food particular habit uh, you know the moment we do that uh, the others start admiring that particular difference right so it so sense so it's it's really important to sensitize people 
and one of the benefit of the training is that it enhances sensitivity. Then point number 9 is that it reduces cultural misunderstanding. So, what is cultural misunderstanding? You know we certainly we, for most of the time we will presume about the culture of certain caste, certain religion, but the fact could be entirely different, right. So, so unless the people are trained, are apprised of the factual situation, the facts and the figures of that particular group or which we are talking about, uh, there were, you know it, it is going to have a misunderstanding. To reduce that cultural misunderstanding is important that we do conduct uh, you know diversity training to of, of all the employees and we train people and so that those misunderstandings are washed away. The last point is it shows support for marginalized groups. Automatically, you know, the moment we are conducting workshops, we are conducting uh, any training session pertaining to diversity, we are actually, uh, you know, showing that to, to the marginalized people that we are standing here in support of you. You are also a human being and does not matter you come from a different caste or different language speaking country or a different gender. We, we you know this is to support them, this is to show that we support you as an individual and we, we honor those differences you may have because of your cultural, economic, social, economic or financial or whatsoever that uh, you know basis you may have that difference. So friends the another uh, point I want to talk is that how many types of uh, diversity training programs do we have. One classification is based on the awareness and the second classification is based on the skills. So on uh, the classification based on awareness targets that we just want to sensitize only the people about certain issues like race, gender, education, culture, festival, etc. and the practices, religious practices. Whereas the skill, uh, you know, based um, training uh, programs, they are to develop tools. So, two classifications are there. One is the awareness based uh, training program, another is skill uh, development uh, based training development programs. So, these are the two classifications which we shall be discussing in future and for the time being I hope you are well aware we, you could get an idea the what are the benefits of diversity training, what is diversity training, what is the background that why should we have the diversity training. So, uh, with this I would like to wind up now. And I hope you could have a very good understanding of all the aspects which we discussed. Thank you very much friends. Thank you.